So some people might think that I've been too negative towards Modern Warfare, even though I've never played it. I've already made it clear on this channel, and some people have trouble listening, I know, that I'm, inc I'm incredibly excited for the game. I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna stream it, I'm gonna make videos on it, and I cannot wait to cover it. I just, I just really can't. Good or bad, a Call of Duty game that is new means new content, new things to talk about. That's exciting for me as a content creator. Now, people think I'm being too negative, and that's okay. You can think I'm being too negative. I don't care. I I'm gonna talk about what concerns me. Modern Warfare has me excited because it's Call of Duty, it's modern day, it looks beautiful, I like a lot of the things I've heard about it. Like, you and I have heard the same things. If you've been following Modern Warfare, you've watched gameplay, you've been watching videos on it ever since the reveal of the multiplayer and all that, then you know about the stuff in it and you like it or don't like it. I think it's very boring for me to go, oh my god, I'm so excited, there's gonna be a 20v20 mode. And then there's gonna be 40 people. 20 plus 20 is 40, and 40 people, that's big for Call of Duty. That's like a, that's like Insurgency Sandstorm, you know? That's that's crazy, you know? Well, thanks for watching, you know, what a boring fucking video. I'd rather put in some negative criticisms so that hopefully people see things the way I see them and then have a discussion about them and then maybe we can get them fixed if we talk about them enough and the developers actually happen to listen. But already in Modern Warfare I've seen too many crutches. I have a lot of concerns about this game because I've been excited and then bit on the ass before. Getting overhyped for a game is a bad idea no matter what. In this last year, I've seen people overhype Black Ops 4, Kingdom Hearts 3, Red Dead Redemption 2, and then feel disappointed when they come out. I think it's important to remain level-headed when it comes to this sort of thing. Don't lower your standards, but don't raise your expectations, and, and that's an important thing to learn how to do. But look, when it comes to Modern Warfare, I've seen a lot of balanced decisions that just spell out bad. And it's not from some sort of loose, negatively-fueled speculation. It's from a recurring pattern. If you've played Call of Duty, you can see things before they happen. You can just kind of feel out how things take place. I've seen how Call of Duty players play. I'm very critical of the franchise. I pay attention. I know that if you give players lethal and tactical equipment for free, basically, they just get to have it on their class, they will spam it around every corner, over every wall, into every window, onto every objective, and the game will require you to run a perk that counters it. Those are called crutch perks, and they have no place in a game that boasts its customization. Aside from shotguns, if you had any class in Black Ops 2 that didn't have toughness, you weren't winning gunfights against half-decent players. And in Advanced Warfare, if you didn't have Blast Suppressor, you were gonna be screwed, and Ghosts, if you didn't have Focus and Ready Up, you were done. It harms customization and overall makes the games worse because suddenly the meta revolves around countering one thing that maybe shouldn't even need to be there. And so far the game seems to be about get UAVs, counter UAVs, throw tons of grenades, and counter all the grenade throwing. If you don't think that's what's gonna happen, you haven't been playing Call of Duty. This isn't some sort of speculation like, oh, I think the worst will happen. No, and it's not even the worst. It's just what's going to happen. Like, in Call of Duty World War II, every time I complained about bouncing Bettys, I got the same response. Just run the perk that counters it. I think the basic training was called Hunker, and I think if you ran the armor division, you had explosive resistance. Here's my response to that. Fuck off. What a terrible system. What a horrible fucking game to make. Oh, so we've added equipment that players get for free. They don't have to, you know, take anything from their class to use this piece of equipment and they can just place it anywhere, it's hard to see, and you have to run this basic training or this division in order to counter it properly. Sorry. Like, have you guys played Modern Warfare Remastered? And how the meta just revolves around Juggernaut and stopping power? Running UAV Jammer is a joke? It's just an embarrassing joke to run UAV Jammer? Have you, have you not noticed that? Have you not noticed how having three grenades on your class affects the way the game plays? When people had the option for stopping power, in Modern Warfare 2, guess what they ran? And guess what happened when there was no proper form of blast protection? Do not bring a blast shield, that is a joke of a piece of equipment. That is just garbage and you know it. What happened? Noob tubes. Everywhere. And every gun melted in fractions of a second because of stopping power. 
stopping power took gun balance and completely pissed all over it, and then noob tubes ran the scene because there was nothing proper to counter them. But if there was something to counter them, then you would have had to run it because those noob tubes were incredibly powerful and prevalent. But since people could counter them, then maybe they'd be ran a little bit less because you wouldn't just want to be wasting an attachment on a noob tube that isn't going to be killing somebody. Oh, but don't worry, there's danger close, so you could increase the damage. So then if there was something that could properly counter the noob tubes, then <laughs> guess what? There's something that would counter that counter because then the noob tube does even more damage. And so guess what people do? Like that's, do, do you not play Call of Duty? These things need to be criticized. Videos like this need to be made because if people don't think about the game, they don't complain about the game and certain things don't get fixed. I mean, I imagine that I could love Modern Warfare even if I always had to run Ghost and some sort of explosive resistant perk, whatever it's called. I imagine I could do that, for sure. But why would, I, why would I want to? Why would I be okay with that? Why wouldn't I stomp my feet about that a little bit? Hey, uh, your game hasn't even come out and I already see two perks that I feel like I need to run on every class. Crutches are bad for the game, even if you can work around them, even if you can enjoy the game in spite of them. You kind of want to, or at least the community should want to, limit the amount of things you have to love the game in spite of. You should love the game because it's fun and good, not because you choose to ignore the poor balancing decisions and terrible create a class system. Positivity goes a long way to making sure you feel better, but it doesn't go a long way into getting the problems fixed. And that's the thing. I could talk about how cool the graphics are, how cool the gunplay looks, but some things I really just can't talk about because I haven't played it yet. All I'm doing is going after the things we've already seen. The shit's like communism. The experiment has been done. We know how it ends. We know what happens. I don't want to be divisive. I don't want to draw some sort of arbitrary line in the sand. But the responses I see to certain complaints and criticisms really lets me know who the Call of Duty players are and who the people that play Call of Duty are. Because there's a difference. And I know to a lot of people this is an annual normie game that, you know, fails in comparison to any other shooter. I know to a lot of you that's what COD is. But to me, it's special and I care about it. And that's stupid, that's dumb to you, that's fine. But <laughs> there is a difference between someone that pays attention and plays Call of Duty because they love it and the people that happen to play it and for some reason provide nothing to the community yet insist on watching these styles of videos and providing little to nothing to the conversation. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you when I see you. Goodbye.